Hey guys, Slice Walkthroughs here with another Mac tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get moving backgrounds like this one. As you can see, I've got the clock. This is not a Geek Tool tutorial for those of you who thought it was. Okay, so basically, to get this app, you're just going to go to Google Chrome and go to www.wallsaverapp.com. The link will be in the description. Once you're on this page, you should see this. Um, by the Get Wall Saver box just click the download link if you're on 10.5 or above if you're on 10.4 just click where it says running mac os x 10.4 click here to download it okay so once that's downloaded you do the normal things that you do for a dmg and drag it to your applications and what you're going to do is you're going to click on wall saver and you should see this box when it opens up Firstly, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my system preferences just to show you them side by side, basically, like how it works. So now that I've got them side by side, as you can see, my screensaver is Polar Clock 3.0, and as you can see, it's there. And if you click in the preferences, you can see it says Polar Clock 3 here. So if I wanted to change that, I would just go into the preferences, click choose, and it should quit your system preferences because they can't be open at the same time. And I'm just going to choose maybe flurry for this one, and you select it. It hasn't changed yet. What you're going to have to do is go into the main page and press activate. If you've already got a moving background, it will say the screensaver is already running. Click restart to restart it. And, as you can see, I have changed my background to something else. Okay, sometimes you may have a little hitch with this, where it will always go, always go back to the screensaver you've had on before. At the end of the tutorial, I will be showing you how to fix that. Firstly, I'm going to show you how to download them. Okay, so what you're going to do is head over to your internet browser, and type in on Google... I'm just going to head over to Google. So once you're on your main internet page, just go along and look up Mac screen savers. If you know any other sites that are good for Mac screen savers, just go on them instead. But I'm just going to get the one that says 40 plus eye catching Mac screen savers. Okay, so once this is opened up, I'm just going to look down and see what good Mac screen savers there are. I like this one here, the Matrix Saver. So just click on the Matrix Saver there if this is the one you want to install. If not, just click on all the other ones, go to the download page and wait for it to load. So what you do is I'm just going to click download here. And as you can see, it comes up in a little dot zip here. And I'm just going to click on Finder and let it open up and go into my downloads and I will unzip it so you double click it, it opens up archive utility it's unzipped it and once you're in the folder you should see this uh, whatever the name of the saver is and then dot saver and you double click it sometimes they are packages and they pre-install themselves into system premises but this is for a dot saver one. So it comes up with this screen. The matrix saver, screen saver must be installed before you can use it. Do you want to install it now? And you can click install for this user only, which is what I normally do because there are no other users of my MacBook Pro. And as you can see, it goes in there as matrix saver. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is just go back to my polar clock. Okay, so now once you're on wall saver, you should see that it is still on flurry. And you're just going to click choose. And as you can see, the system preferences will go. And you will just click the matrix one. As you can see here, it saved itself as GL matrix. I will select that. Go onto the wall saver tab. Activate. Restart. And it is done. 
Okay, as you can see, it's started here. This one takes a while because it's the Matrix. And now I'm going to move on to showing you the bug that you will sometimes have. Okay, so sometimes you might have this glitch thing where you go onto Wallsaver, you click Choose, and once it's loaded up all my screensavers, you go down to, let's say, the Matrix one, and let's say I press select on that and I want to install that. I'll go to wall saver, press activate, restart, and it should go to the matrix. But sometimes it doesn't always work. As you can see, it's just gone straight back to the clock. Even though in preferences it says it is the matrix. Okay, so to change this, what you're going to want to do is just tick this box here if you have accidentally unticked it. Just click use wallsaver to set screensaver. You can also change all of these other settings like start the screensaver at the program launch and hide before a screensaver starts. Okay, so basically once you've ticked that and you press activate and restart, it should work. Let's just wait for it to load and see whether it has worked. I think it has worked. And I can't, yep, yeah, now I can see some of the green stuff. So that has fixed it. Thank you for watching. Comment, like, favourite and subscribe.